Alright, we're checking out the only game where you can strap a tank cannon on top of a mecha squid and send it into battle. It's Hills of Steel. In Hills of Steel, you never know what you're going to get. Like healing, healing, or healing. I don't even know what to say. I don't, I don't, I think I'm the only person who's ever gotten the exact same thing three times in a row. You start with a normal trash tank like this, where the guy has absolutely no self-preservation at all, just has his head completely out the top of it. And then over time, you get to increase the power of your tank. Rookie numbers! Obviously, we're going to get the most ridiculous tank there is, and one of them I saw is, in fact, a bionic squid. That man just did a full flip and landed directly on his neck. His neck broke. I love that everyone just kind of, like, lines up in single file. It's like watching some sort of 1990s martial arts movie. Not really sure I needed the repair kits, but thanks anyway. So the idea is each time you get into a fight, you get different abilities that you have to use. Oh, apparently there's physics on all the blowy up stuff too, because the one chunk of the guy's tank just got shot into the stratosphere. Oh, I get more abilities. Explosive scraps. I don't know what that- What's the executioner? It sounds amazing. I want it. Destroy low health enemies. What's low health? He died anyway. Oh, this is a slightly larger- Okay! The armadillo and his head is directly in front of the tank cannon. This is the best idea for combat I think I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, just stay right there. That is fantastic. Can I like, oh, I literally have a phase shield. I do appreciate that the lives that you take in battle are literally the currency that brings you to your next rank. Now, obviously you can sit here and you can open up these chests in order to get different upgrades for your tank. Or you can see that there are such tanks as the Reaper, the Atlas, the Tesla, <laughs> the Chonk. <laughs> right there, Kraken tank. Oh, there's a T-Rex tank. There's a demon tank. There is literally a devil tank. I mean, we gotta try these. I kind of want to start things on a high note and just try the Chonk. All right, we're chunking it up. Chonk's boosters, like a repair kit or a circular saw. Why would you attach a circular saw to a tank? Actually, I don't I don't I don't really care. Yeah, give me the circular saw. Airstrike, shockwave, force field. Yeah, keep just just give me all these. G give me all that. Yep, it's a literal circular saw just chilling out on the front of the tank. Why wouldn't it be? I just realized too that you can completely change the name they give you. Our name is now Lieutenant Yeatington. Okay, explain to me exactly how powerful the chonk is. Death bomb? Sure. <laughs> oh, I, I have two different abilities. What does this one do? Oh my God. Uh, what happens if I hit myself with this? I'm desperately trying. Oh my God. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I love that you can just run into people. Oh, here we go, here we go. Ah, oh, it's almost, oh, it does hit you. Hey, where'd everyone else go? The chunk is hungry, hungry for blood. I love that they are very safely delivering the payload of death upon you. Oh, you can just ride your, you just ride your vehicle on top of someone else's skull. That's great. I love that you can pop wheelies in this thing. And the very first piece of damage that you get is you just losing your helmet. Hey, spit out your coins. All right, everyone. I need you to keep just slowly wandering over this hill, foregoing any level of tactics or skill. Oh, I get a new ability. Super damage? Okay. I mean, I I feel like I already dealt a lot of damage. Like, do I need more? <laughs> God. Here, one shot. Yep. This doesn't really. So oh my! <laughs> what is this? How come the guy's head is always in front of what is trying to murder me? Does he have absolutely no? Oh. <laughs> I'm a sergeant. I'm Sergeant Yeatington now. No one has any desire to live at all in this game. Okay, so the chunk is okay. Now we did end up just randomly unlocking the ballista. Okay, and you automatically get a shockwave. Sure. This is called Moonbreaker. I'm on the moon. Does it make any sense? No, not at all. Does it matter? Absolutely not. I'm kind of sad because I'm missing... <clears throat> It doesn't even use any kind of, like, delivery system. It's just got a spring. 
This isn't fair. Everyone has like Tesla guns. Okay, the gun here really doesn't do very much. Oh, you can hold down and it goes slightly further. Uh, yeah, give me the multi-shot. I need to try this thing one more time. All right, so what happens when you kind of like lean this thing back a little? Okay, now it does a lot of damage. I had no idea that it was all about how much you pulled the spring back. This tank must have been built in New Jersey. This thing is janky as can be. I guess it's good for the environment. Yeah, it's, it's just murdering people in one shot. I I vastly underestimated the ballista. It, it Now it's just killing people that haven't even gotten onto the screen yet. Wow! I think the best part is you can make people do full flips. Look at him. There's nothing he can do. He's sad. He's depressed. He's probably going to die. There. I'm gonna kill you as slow as possible. I'm gonna really make this- really make it last! Fast reload. Super booster? Give me the reload. How fast is fast reload? Okay, I feel like his rockets are slightly larger than mine. Also, how come he's wearing a helmet in, you know, the extremities of space? Meanwhile, I am absolutely not. Actually, if you could have just stayed right where you were, that would be fantastic. Wow, three shots. Okay, this might be better than Chonk. This thing isn't even upgraded. Okay, I think I'm going to Mars now. Basically, this is the Fast and the Furious of tank simulators. You never stay on Earth. You start in a sandwich shop and eventually you're fighting on Mars. All right, let's see. What else we got here for tanks? A wreck? What now? Oh my god. Sure. It's kind of like a mech warrior, like a dollar store mech warrior. I mean, it's an epic tank. Yeah, sure, give me the shockwave. I don't like health. I don't know what this does, but it sounds awesome. Oh, I have like a laser beam. Why couldn't I have had that on the moon? I guess it does make sense on Mars. Oh, it works like a machine gun. I may love this tank. Well, I call it a tank. It's kind of, it's more or less like a transformer. This is the transformer where you're like, mom, can we have transformers? And your mom is like, we have transformers at home. This is the transformer at home. It's basically a weaponized Roomba. I mean, don't get me wrong. Roombas were probably going to be the things that murder us all before anything else. I love how the, uh, the reload is completely meaningless. It fires just as well with no charge. You just, you just keep a constant stream of explosions going. Every time I get a new tank, I kind of like it better than the last tank. Yep, more reload. Yep, I've got the mini gun of lasers. If you ever wanted to pilot a tank and not utilize any thought pattern at all, this would be the one to do because you really don't do anything but hold the blasty button down. See, it may have looked like bad things were happening, but apparently the shockwave just murders everyone in one hit. I need this repair kit. Please don't stop me from getting it. Thank you. And that's how you do it. I love that my tank is still walking in the background even though I'm not controlling it at all. Where am I now? Am I now inside of a space station? I mean, I guess let's keep going. Battery. That doesn't sound that cool. Wait, Scorpion? Like, is it a literal so- Oh my god, it is! <laughs> I love that they take the names of these tanks 100% literally. Oh, it, it stabs people to death. More damage. Okay, so what do I have to do to stab things? Oh, I just click on the stab things button. I kind of don't even want to use the gun. Oh, it fires a chunk of liquid plumber at people. That's interesting. This is great. This is like the Transformers got upgraded slightly. This isn't dollar store Transformers. This is five below Transformers. Can I, can I stab you even though you're in the air? Not really. It's very hard to hit this thing. Oh, there was a man inside. I thought it was some sort of drone. I feel kind of bad. I didn't know I'd have to murder a human being. Well, I guess that's really all you do in this game, so never mind. Okay, uh... The stab thing is definitely what you want to do. The gun does a little bit of damage, but the stab thing is where the real damage comes from. If my vehicle gets repaired, do I get my helmet back? So how do I feel about shooting a chunk of split pea soup at people? Eh, it could be better. I mean... Uh... <laughs> sure. Alright, so what, is it, what does this do? Damage. Lots. Okay. I mean, I guess I'll just take your word for it. Yeah, sure, give me more health. I get an orbital strike?! So how does... Oh. Oh my god. Oh, 
Oh, what? I'm, I'm like a Hydra. I have amazing tentacles that pull me around as well. If this thing isn't terrible, this may be my favorite vehicle so far. All right, orbital cannon. <laughs> what? The only problem is while you're orbital cannoning, you can totally be shot. Now you do get to rapid fire the spikes, which I guess is interesting. I love that I that my main weapon is just spitting very volatile phlegm at people. I guess it does turn into ramparts, which is its own interesting thing. It's in it's unbelievably slow though. Now that I figured out how to use it, nothing can touch me though, which is great. You know it'd be fantastic a repair kit. Okay. For real. The guy is just in a UFO. That seems kind of unfair because how do you hit him? Oh wait, I have an idea. No, no, stop shooting your heat laser at me. Uh oh. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say I was slightly concerned because I had like four hit points left, but obviously it doesn't matter. So far as the crack in everything I thought it would be, kind of. <laughs> The fact that it slowly slithers on the ground while shooting apple-flavored Jolly Ranchers at people is kind of amazing. Oh, fantastic. We're about to fight on the moon of Saturn. Before we do this, however, I have to buy a T-Rex with a nuke strapped to its back. It is a T-Rex with a nuclear warhead strapped to its back. Does it have a gun or is it just a nuke? Oh, I got the Kong tank for free. Well, thanks, I guess. Don't mind me. Just out with my T-Rex for a walk. Uh... Oh, it bites people. <laughs> out of every possible sound effect, they couldn't have given it to the... <laughs> it's just some guy, like, inside of his microphone. <laughs> Alright, what does the nuke do? Oh. Oh, God! Uh... Do I really need to do much else, or...? Does the nuke pretty much do everything for me? Like, do I have to bite people? Is that an absolute requirement? How close does this have to come down to, like, death scorpions? Oh! You eat it, and then you throw it! Well, that seems unfair. All right, I really need someone to get hit by this nuke, so... Someone very timidly approach, if you would. Very- uh, perfect. You know, that's good enough for me. Timidly approach. The fact that they are still alive is unbelievably concerning. It's a nuke. You kind of figure it would do more. All right, let me try and line this up like perfectly. Wasn't bad. I guess if you sit inside of the radiation, it's not exactly good for your skin. Ready? <laughs> more damage. Wait, does the reload reload like my mouth or my nuke? Just give me more damage. How am I supposed to eat this thing? It's so tall. Ow, stop that. I guess I'm just scaring it to death because my mouth was nowhere near it. I'll tell you, if there's one thing I love doing, it is eating the flesh of the non-believers. Oh, that was a one-hit kill. Okay, no joke. The extra damage that they gave to the mouth is real good. I don't really know who the end boss is, but I kind of just want to nuke you and be done with it. Yeah, just nukes. More nukes. Fantastic. Let's let's keep the nukes rolling here. Okay, I have nowhere to run. This is this is a problem. This is a gigantic problem. I can't nuke you if I can't continue to move back like a coward. Okay, the T-Rex may not be great for this. All right, grab the devil, throw him into a tank, call it a day. I threw a circular saw on him. Is it on his tail? Whatever. Okay, so. Yep, it is a circular saw on his club of disaster. Okay, and then he can also drop meteorites on people. We have gone past tanks now into just planet destroyers. Wow, this lasts a long time. Still going. All right, sorry, moon of Saturn. Oh, he is kind of glitchy. I could be sitting anywhere to protect myself, and instead I'm just chilling out. Like, literally right in the front. Might be slightly overpowered. I mean, I feel like this is probably overkill, but like if you spend the money for the T-Rex, I think you might as well have just got it. <laughs> oh my god! I, I think there was a guy there. I don't really know. Oh, I can cause flames to like rise up from the ground as well. Sure. I feel like that didn't do enough to appease me. All right, rain fire. Go ahead, Thanos them. 
Fantastic. Yep. Uh-huh. Again, it kind of it kind of glitches out real bad. <laughs> but uh Was there a tank inside of another tank like a Russian nesting doll? Oh, the hive mind. I hadn't actually got to you. So, yep, just Oh, I'm turning I'm turning this place into my realm. Headshot. <laughs> Ridiculous! Uh, I'm not wearing my helmet. <laughs> well, what started out as a tank game turned into the apocalypse simulator. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Hills of Steel. Till next time, stay foxy and much love.